All right, so we are in chapter nine of the Panda Puzzle. And Dink, Josh, and Ruth Rose went into the fitness center and they were snooping around and they found these two hidden doors that kind of led to kind of like a basement where they discovered a trap door. So let's listen to chapter nine. Should we open it? Josh asked. Without answering, Dink grabbed the handle and pulled the door. The door came up easily. Beneath it were stone stairs leading down. They heard something skittering about in the darkness below. Oh, rat, Josh said. If you think I'm going... Shh, I heard something else, Ruth Rose said. Then they all heard it. It was a squeaking, crying noise. <coughs> That's Winnie, Ruth Rose said. She ran down the stairs. Dink and Josh were right behind her. The air at the bottom of the steps was filled with some kind of dust. It stung their eyes. The only light came through the open trap door. Guys, I think we're in an old cellar, Josh said. My grandpa had one. It's just like this. Dink could feel the coal dust in his eyes and nose on his lips. And on his lips. He began to cough. Look, there's Winnie, Ruth Rose whispered. Across the room glowed a pair of eyes. Suddenly, the trap door slammed shut. Instantly, they were in total darkness. Then they heard the sound of metal on metal. Someone locked us in, Josh said. I can't see anything. Let's not panic, okay, Ruth Rose said. Let's just sit down, right where we are. But I can't see. This place is disgusting. Dink sat down. Underneath him, he felt a few lumps of coal. He brushed them aside. I'll bet Flip locked us in, Ruth Rose said. He must have figured out where we went. Dink heard Josh standing up. What are you doing, Josh? This building is old, so maybe the lock is too, Josh said. I might be able to force it open. I'll help you, Dink said. He and Josh stumbled up the steps and shoved against the trap door. It didn't move. Well, it was a good idea. They found their way back down the steps and sat next to Ruth Rose. How are we supposed to get out of here? Josh asked. Maybe there's a window, Ruth Rose said. Don't basements have windows? But it's not a basement, Josh said. It's just a room where they kept coal back in the old days. I bet no one ever comes down here anymore. It was a good place to hide Winnie. Where is she? I wondered. Ruth Rose said. She's probably hiding, Dink said. If only we had a light. Gee, if I'd known I was going to be trapped underground, I'd have brought my flashlight. Don't worry, Ruth Rose said. Flip will let us out after he collects his money at midnight. Well, I'm not sitting here till midnight. I have a plan, Josh said. You do? Yeah, Josh said, sliding lumps of coal out of the way on, with his bare feet. Let's hold hands and try to find the walls. Then we can feel around the whole room. Well, what are we feeling for? Ruth Rose said. The coal shoot. The coal shoot? Like in a gun? The coal shoot. C-H-U-T-E, Josh said. My grandpa told me how coal used to get delivered. They'd slide it into a chute and it'd go right down into the basement. So you're saying there's one of those slide things here somewhere? Ruth Rose asked. Yes, and it'll lead right outside. The kids held hands with Ruth Rose in the middle. Dink and Josh reached out and groped for the walls. Seconds later, Dink tripped over something. He landed on his knees in a pile of coal. I found a shovel, Dink said, running a hand over the metal shape. He used the shovel to help him stand. He lost his balance and fell against the wall. Okay, he said, rubbing his elbow. I found a wall. Now what? Feel along for some kind of opening. Josh said. It might be kind of high up. All three kids moved along the wall, feeling their way. Dink used the shovel like a cane as he shuffled along. Once Dink heard a whimper, It's okay, Winnie, he said into the darkness. We're the good guys. Suddenly, Ruth Rose shouted, I found something. What's it feel like? Like a window frame, she said. But there's no glass. There's 
there's just a piece of board or something where the glass should be. That's got to be the chute, Josh said. How high up is it? Ah, just a little above my head, Rufo said, but I can reach it. Dink and Josh felt the way along the wall until they were standing right next to Rufo's. I think you found it, Rufo's. But how do we get it open? Dink lifted the heavy metal shovel. Will this do? He asked. So the kids are stuck in this dark, pitch dark cellar when he's down there. They found the chute. Now they have to get out. So stay tuned for chapter 10.